All right, guys, welcome back to the channel here. Today, we're going to go ahead and dive into cleaning this seat up. As you can see, it's pretty grimy. Uh, it just happens over time. I mean, you know, whether or not it's uh, from sitting outside or just getting in and off, just getting on and off the seat as you're, you know, going for rides, you bump into stuff inevitably, or clothes are sitting wherever and it rubs off. It's just, you know, it's just how it is. If you don't keep it clean, it's just going to get dirtier and dirtier. So today we're going to go ahead and just get all this grime off and then condition it up a little bit and get it ready for the season. All right, so just a couple things here. I have a nice clean bucket of soapy water, a uh, little spongy here, and then a green scrubby. Uh, you can get these at uh, your auto parts store. They're not, they don't have a lot of grit to them. They're actually coarse, but they're not real. They don't have a lot of scuffing power to them, but they do good as a scrubby. Um, it's, you know, it's not something you're gonna put, a, you know, you're gonna do any damage to your seat cover with. So I use that. And then uh, just some paper towels to wipe everything down once you're done. And um, I also have a little bit of super clean foaming. It dissolves grease super easy, super fast. This is a spray, it's a biodegradable detergent. Um, this is stuff I've been trying out recently, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this and see how it does. I also have this, this is Armor All. Uh, usually I use Aerospace 302, um, but this is all that I had on hand at this point. Um, it's obviously leather care. It's something you can put on vinyl and it protects against fading, aging, and cracking as well. As well. All right, so let's get started. Just go ahead and spray it down. Just gonna rub it in, make sure it gets into all the, the areas. All right, so now that we've let it sit for a couple minutes, we're gonna go ahead and just scrub it down real good. You can tell that that's getting quite a bit of dirt up because you can see the, the foam is turning a brownish color. All right, now the next step is to just go ahead and get your sponge, get the soapy water on there, and then just go ahead and proceed to wipe it down. All right, so now that we got the seat wiped down with the soapy water as well, I'm just gonna go ahead and use a towel to wipe all the soapy water off. Wow, it's looking really bright already. Really brings out the vibrant color again. Now you might have to go over some spots and touch them up. All right, so now we're on the other side of the seat. I want to point out that you can see where some of that soap has dripped down and just the super clean degreaser itself has left its mark on this seat. I think that's pretty good testament to how well this stuff cleans up. So we're gonna go ahead and tackle the rest of this, get it clean, and then we'll go ahead and apply some conditioner to the rest of the seat.
All right, so now you can see that there's already a nice vibrant color again to the seat. So looks like this stuff does really good. But you got to remember, you don't want to leave it like this. You, you want to make sure that you get some type of conditioner and protector on it. And that's what we're going to go and head do next. All right, so we're back at the other side of the sled here. We got the seat cover cleaned on both sides. As you can see, the color is a lot brighter than it was when we first started. Um, there's a brighter overall color to the cover itself. So what we're gonna do now is just go ahead and spray some uh, conditioner and protectant on there to finish up the job. Don't be afraid to be liberal around the seams as well. When these covers dry out, they typically will start ripping right at these seams. This is a big one, big problem, is on the back here. These just dry out, they get a lot of pressure, and because of the material not being conditioned well enough, it doesn't stretch anymore, and then it eventually just rips right through those stitches. guys that's it as you can see it's a pretty easy job it takes maybe 10 15 minutes to do and this will help your seat cover on your snowmobile to look great but also last for a long time so if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel please subscribe hit the alert bell so you're notified of future updates drop in say hello if you guys have any questions let me know i'm always around to answer love the conversation if you guys know anybody else that likes this type of content please feel free to share in social networking with family and friends also, just want to know what type of products you guys use on your seat covers to clean and condition them. So go ahead and leave that down in the comments. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Come on back. God bless.